Live from the edge of Austin, near the 1980s hot tub graveyard, the Angel Gabriel plays the endless loop of Turkey in the Straw, and it's gonna be a great night. Now, get into your best squat position and hold forever, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Yo. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, 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 oh. uh, 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 Brett Pohl oh. warned us. He was like, oh. uh, this is going to be a long one. I'm going to be, uh, and I was like, uh, you take your time and you, you do you. And uh, uh, the only thing missing, 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 the only thing missing, the missing. Was, was him going on to say, at coordinates, north, <laughs> negative 31.28567. Uh, that was deep cuts. Deep yeah. Deep cuts. See that? I see that 1980s hot tub graveyard every time. I don't know time. what that dude is collecting. Like, yeah. like, like, are people buying those, or is he making like unending promises of like, <laughs> I fix hot tubs? Seriously, look how many I'm working on yeah. right now. <laughs> so this With is his a lava. real thing for listeners who are confused. Yeah. By the way, if you want around to find the a place, property, you 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 have two ways to find the place. Yeah. One is you look can... for every hot tub operator in Austin. <laughs> right. Uh, specifically ones that have like a graveyard of hot tubs. Yep. So as you're driving by, you're like, well kept, too urban, <laughs> not a graveyard. What graveyard esque? Yeah. Circle. Or you could go to Google and type in Modern Rogue World Headquarters, and we've already got two five star reviews, apparently, even so though we go. we're not a real business and we don't no. exist. And you, and you have no customer Google, service. Google doesn't care. They're they all like, sure, why not? Information. <laughs> I, I eat information. I'm Google. Google. Uh, Justin Robert Young, how was your weekend? Man, I had a, I had a very eclectic weekend. A, a, a collection of weekends? A, a, a an, an eclectic weekend? An, an, an eclectic? Morning becomes eclectic. Wasn't that a, a, a public radio series? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. That was like that, but imagine it was a, an entire weekend. I, I can't build on that because it sounds like both of you guys agree this was a real thing. And and I, 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 it sounds so fake. Oh, morning becomes eclectic? Yes, correct. Yeah. It, so, it sounds like the opening to like a red dwarf scene or something. Like, <laughs> welcome to morning becomes eclectic. No, Every it was, morning is it, different. It was primarily, it should have been morning becomes acoustic because it was always just acoustic performances by bands. Mm -hmm. But uh, instead it was eclectic because it's fucking public radio. Bryce, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first topic for the day is... Town. <laughs> What's funny is I'm 50-50 on whether or not Brett... <laughs> just assumed that's what he was supposed to say or whether or not he knew he was pronouncing T-A-O-M, yeah. the Texas Association of Magicians. Of magicians. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Big weekend. This is a weekend that you've looked forward to for, I mean, I, I would not even say months when you actively started promoting it, but really years because what uh, has, what initially split your focus on Dragon Con was the fact that TAOM, the Texas Association of Magicians, also happens every Labor Day. As your profile has continued to rise, you are a native son of TAOM. They've always wanted more of your involvement this year. Everything aligned. You were in Austin. The, the 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 TAOM was in Austin. This was your 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 big your big moment. Right. Uh, no BS. No insincerity whatsoever. Uh, I have always uh, uh, from 1993 to I think uh, I don't know maybe maybe 2009 or whatever. I went every single year. And it was only to go to Dragon Con. And, of course, you know, we, we started our epic run of, yeah. like, 10 years straight of going to Dragon Con. That, and, and, and there was always some part of me that itched to go back and see all those folks or whatever. Uh, and and uh, individually, I was able to see many of them. But it's not the same as being there at the big convention and sure. all that stuff. Yeah. And so uh, I get word that it's going to be in Austin. And, and I... I preemptively pick up the phone i call uh, uh, my friend mike and i'm like uh, uh i understand you're in charge in charge of uh, uh advertising marketing promotion my acts whatever you need wh whatever you need like like uh, you need it i'm there yeah uh the original obligation justin yeah was put out the good word about taom can do 
cool. I got a Twitter. And so you're just like, hey, look, we're gonna have a booth there. I'm gonna be there. You, we want to meet me. You want to you want to shake my hand. You want to get an autograph. Heck yeah. Come on out to TAOM. Easy peasy. Boom. Lemon squeezy. Uh, so you did that. And that was it. TAOM done and in the books. Bada bing, <laughs> bing ba bing ba bong boom. What's I, that? I mean, it turns out that there was an opening on the Saturday night gala show when they only wanted to. Do one routine. Just do that Mr. Happy Pants routine. You know the one. one routine. Just one routine. Oh, small. On. Oh, so small. Small. So small. Small routines. I, I, you know, and now that I think about it, I guess we should. I mean, you know, we've gone to DEF CON and we've done pretty well having a booth and selling the stuff. Sure. Should see whether or not we can replicate that kind of success. Okay. So that dimension. and that puts you there for longer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe do a lecture. A lecture. Yeah, hour long lecture. But Brian, you don't really do lectures. Uh no, but 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 in magic circles, uh like an hour long lecture is about 30 minutes of talking about cool stories and then 30 minutes of teaching tricks. Yeah, or or explaining stuff you have at the booth or whatever. Gotcha. Right? Yeah, I could do that. I, so so okay. So yeah. now you're gonna promote it. Five minutes, hour long lecture, no big deal. Easy peasy. Okay. Let's go. So you're you're locked in, yep. and that's it. That's the end of the story for TAOM. Uh, yay! Oh, I, I, I am certain there is a timeline where that is the case, now that uh, I think about it. Mm. But that's not the timeline you and I exist it's in. It's not. It's not. We no. live in the timeline where literally hours before all of this, we get word that the headlining act. The what? The uh, well, uh, 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 headliner, the most important, uh, the one. So the that person that's going to open the conference. Yes. And, and who is so beloved that people are traveling from across the country. Out to of come state. To, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah Just because yeah. they want to see an intimate magician's only performance of this guy's act where you know he's going to pull out his, his most polished A material. Yeah. 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 Gone. Couldn't, couldn't make it. Wow. Couldn't make it. Okay. Right. So. So. I get, that's that's a bad situation for a conference. Uh, maybe I, I I don't want to ascribe values to it, but let's let's say not great. Okay. Uh, get the phone call. So, Brian, how would you feel about doing an hour long magic show on? Oh, I don't know. Let me pick a day at random. Friday night, the opening night of this entire magic convention. Like early? Nope. Huh? Like the big stage. The big stage. The opening show. Prime time. Yeah. Oh. And it's for all the people who have been there since you were a wee babe. Yeah. Going forward. Yeah. Just, maybe, maybe just do your magic show for them. Your whole hour. Yeah. Your whole hour. Yeah. You know, the one that I haven't performed all of in maybe three years. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. <laughs> Bit out of practice. And that's to my credit. I said, uh, well, I have all the props. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I remember the routines, but I mean, we're looking at three or four days to get everything ready and all that stuff. It's like, uh, so if I'm understanding and you, just just for context, folks, uh, this conversation is literally happening 48 hours before the event. Yes, and so I say, well, if what you need is an hour of something, yeah, on Friday night that is magic related that will make magicians happy. Let me tell you about my friend, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you, when you define scraping the bottom of the no, barrel, no, you just, no, see, no, you just no. see my face on a barnacle <laughs> that you're peeling off. <laughs> so I explained to them what we do on Great Night, and I explained to them the storytelling games that we play with Don't Get Brody and yeah. so on. And, and, and we talk about how we have a couple of magic-related bits. And, Here's and, something that I need to know. Okay. Because we have actually not even had this conversation privately. Yes. How do you explain and pitch the all setup magician? Uh, well, step one, sir, is you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of keep that one in the old back pocket. So you never told them about it. I uh, Because if you didn't tell them, then you lied to me and said that they were uh, okay with it. I, I... <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. You dirty fucking asshole. I believe the way I phrased it was <laughs> Justin and I yeah. have done a decade of conventions very much like this one. Not untrue. We don't necessarily do a magic show. No. But it is very magical. 
Sure. They love they love that shit. Uh, uh, I, I know. I, I know I, you're speaking their language. Uh, I say. I say. Hey, yeah. And this is before I uh, decided to do the fire eating or whatever. But it's like, look, what's your favorite part about a magic convention? It's that one part when everybody starts to share their magic horror stories. Probably like, like when they talk about something that went wrong or yeah. whatever. We play a game on our multiple podcast award winning show where we. Yeah, it's all about it's these all about kind of magic failure horror stories. stories, right? Yeah. Exactly, or horror stories, or, or, or fun, interesting stories that are told well. Exactly. Yeah, and then and then I do mention I was like, you know what? There's actually, you know, Justin Robert Young, former editor in chief of iTricks.com. Sure, that got a big reaction. <laughs> are you kidding me? The comments started coming in. They're like, oh, that? even though oh, yeah. it was just us on the phone, yeah, I'm sure. which was really yeah. weird. Yeah, uh, I, 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 there's a bit we've tried a few times where uh, we we have the all set up magician. Yeah, and Justin comes out and and I sort of describe some of the highlights of it and uh, and where it goes. They're like, that's so funny, so funny. You guys are gonna do great. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna that be conversation great. really happened. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Yes. Uh, so what's the rest of the show? Rest of the show? Oh, we just react to the awesome stories that your audience is going to be telling us. Yeah. No, and, 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 and to fill in for the audience, magicians are very meticulous about, like, every inch of space being accounted for correct there's not a whole lot of like and then we'll catch a runner in the audience and maybe that'll <laughs> go for 30 minutes like it's it's no you got a five minute bit then you got a 10 minute bit then you got a five minute bit and then i got two 10 minute bits and then i got two fives and that's the end of the show right yes like, that's normally how magic planning goes correct uh in this case they had their headliner cancel 48 hours before the conference so they were stuck with <laughs> mr pib and there's nothing they could do about it it's it's so close to dr thunder you won't yeah, even yeah. believe the whatever difference. it's like it's amazing like it's gonna almost taste like what you wanted so uh, so 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 we we do this and in fact we'll we'll come back and we'll revisit parts of this later on in this episode and if you're a patron you'll get to hear the entire hour-long performance but yeah not for nothing uh, there's some great moments in there. Uh, what one of which is I, there's only one piece of the whole thing I want to give away, and uh, uh, you and I, but the version of Brian and Justin having a production meeting before our biggest gig that is not for for people who already know who we are. Like nobody knows who we are. There's no friendlies in the audience, so we go to a bar. Yes. <laughs> Most of the time is spent. To be fair, we tried to previously go to a sushi restaurant. That's right. And another bar. And both of them closed. were closed. Yeah. So we had to go to another bar. Go to another bar. And to be fair, we spent the next 30 minutes with me trying to show Harley Quinn to God Justin. Damn, he just really <laughs> wanted to show me fucking. He, he was, he, he was in full Brian needs to show me a television show mode. Except the internet was foiling him. Yes. And it, it took him 30 minutes to try and load up the thing. Oh. And then it was just. It got through the like, like, burr, 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 and like Superman and Green Lantern, just like in, in the animatic to bring up DC's logo. And Brian's like, oh shit, it's going. And in his excitement, he X'd out the screen. Oh, no! And it went another 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's not relevant to the story. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're talking through it. And, and I, and, and one of the things that we discuss is, okay, um, uh, when we do Dragon Con, everybody knows it's us. They yeah. know this is a safe place, and if something doesn't make sense, they know that eventually it's going to pay off. Or whatever. Yeah. Magicians might be a little bit more prickly and maybe yes. think that we are specifically making fun of them. one person. Yes, or, or one Or them person. as a group, yeah. or specifically one person in the group. Which was my terror. Yes. My terror was knowing how uh, uh, magicians do not have a legendary sense of humor about the art, and are very often defensive of each other. Right. Uh, that my my Friday night was going to be doing the show, having to get zero reaction, and then as I go to the bathroom, being cornered by somebody saying, "Why the fuck were you making fun of Doug? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you have against Doug? Like he's doing. He's he's trying to make a living as best he can. You piece of shit. I don't even know. I'll have you know, Brainy Doug was published in 1987." <laughs> In MUM magazine. I mean, and look, this is based on the fact that I've seen that situation play out at other magic conventions. Which like, is why we're both terrified. Terrified. 
Uh, but uh, uh, I, 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 so I pitch a couple of like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, tension releasing uh, clues that, that, that maybe this is a joke and you don't yeah. need to really worry about it. And, uh, 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 and, and, but, but I also want to be super duper respectful of the fact that this is Justin's performance and it lives or dies. This is your solo flight. You're the one swinging around in, in a wingsuit and, 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 and yeah. it's not for me to guide yeah. outside of to say, well, if, if, uh, here are some punch outs. If you feel X, Y, or Z at, at, at this point, how committed to the bit were you when we were workshopping this stuff? Oh, the, the All Set It Magician, which for, for those who are not aware, the All Set It Magician is me coming out like a mind reader. Uh, I then do increasingly over the top and bizarre questions so I can get various different answers that theoretically, if, you were, if I were a real mind reader, I would then have, uh, I, would, I would divine the answer for but because these answers are increasingly stupid and then the ways I get them are really dumb, you slowly realize that I am putting everything on until one moment at the very end when I reveal that there indeed is an envelope that's been in plain sight the entire time. Right. Uh, and then you realize that I am actually just an asshole. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Enough people in the audience are like, no way. Exactly. So, And, and if they're not there, then there's me backstage going, no way! <laughs> Which, that's in and of itself a magic element to it. But uh, the um, when you're doing the, an act like that, and you've got to go through the valley, you have to go through the part where it starts off medium funny. You have to let it get very well, you, you unfunny have, yes. in but, order to hit. Because the not only do I have to be confident, right? I have to be magician mentalist confident. Right. And in the world of magicians, no one's more confident than the guy whose entire act is, I can read your mind. Yeah. Like, you have to come out. You can't come out being like, oh, shucks, I don't know. I guess I can read minds. <laughs> you have to come out with a kind of, like, especially if you're doing it as a joke and you're doing it as a parody, you have to come out with a, bra a gravitas. And so, like, I'm already committed that, like, this is a suicide mission. Like, <laughs> I have to go in as confident as possible or else I have no chance. So when we're going over stuff, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, like maybe. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll turn left when I smash into the ground. Uh, so one of the bits that I'm only hearing stuff backstage, but I realize he's doing what my favorite of the pitches were, which is about, uh, I don't know, six minutes in, right around that confused tension. And what you, uh, uh, only after the fact do I realize that's the moment we need to collapse the superposition and let get everybody let on everybody the same Let everybody know page. this is a joke. Yes. Yeah. And, so, and so Justin, uh, 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 both of us wearing black shirts, Justin's wearing a black shirt and a blazer, walks Black forward. on black on black. Uh, uh, walks forward. There's a gap right down the middle. And he says, you, sir, stand up. Dude's 80, 87 years old. <laughs> Says, you, sir, stand up. 72 years old, dude. Says, you, sir, stand up. 68 years old, dude. Justin confidently takes three more steps forward without turning around, extends his arms <laughs> wide, and says, August 17th, 1981. If this is not your birthday, snap. Sit down now. <laughs> <laughs> All three people sit down, and he gets a fucking huge round of applause. <laughs> 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 and this is the moment a wave of like, it's going to work, it's yeah. going to work, just washes over me. It's fucking amazing. So, yeah, you guys will be able to see all of it. If you're a patron, this is a great week to become a patron because the entire hour-long hour -long show yeah. is, is there. There's a lot of really, really, really fun stuff. Uh, uh, man. Uh, uh, it was there great. Else? It was great. Any, any other TAOM I mean, nuggets? I, I, I could talk about other things I screwed up, but uh, but in general, thank you to everybody who came out, uh, who made the journey across the country. Uh, uh, who, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Hot it's Beverages easy, was up. there. Brave Jayhawk was there uh, for that show too. Uh, I, by the way, I know a lot of people went out and and bought the live streaming like show. Yep. Uh, the ticket for that show. Thank you to everybody who did that uh, uh but yeah if you're a patron just our just our thing uh will be available to you as a vod and uh for audio on thursday
and we do have a little bit of the extra. Uh, 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 we we have extras for you. Uh, let me just say that there are extras. There are extras. There are extras. Bryce, what's next? Our next topic is woof woof bang. Woof woof bang. I want to show you a video I saw on Reddit. Oh, okay. I'll show you this video. Wait, wait, what are we uh, reversing roles? Is it Thursday already? I'm just asking. I'm, I want to show you a video. I saw it on Reddit. It, it's our anniversary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do something special. No, if it was, if it was, if I was doing right. what you're doing, I would just badger you at torches until I until you watch. <laughs> until it. I watched Harley no, Quinn. Yeah. No, but no. also, yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a 30 second video. It'd be an hour and a half movie, and it's like, look. Look, we only have love. to watch that, the first you, five minutes. You get my language. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is the shit that Brian wants to watch? Is always like, I swear to God, you only have to listen to the first line of this thing. And by the first line, I mean seasons one through yes, seven. Exactly. <laughs> At this bar right now. Yes. All right. So this is a, a, a I've had one of my favorite new subreddits, r slash obscure media. But uh, this was apparently an ad Grindy. that wound up getting pulled off the air and then retooled. Grindy. But it is a great, great ad. If you have never Grindy. seen it, uh, if you have never seen it, then uh, uh, you absolutely need to uh, watch it I mean, on I, I, the I, internet. To, to be honest, I think Justin's really underselling just how great this ad is. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, pause it. How much is that doggy in the window? Uh, Brian, yeah. what are you looking at for the audio? I'm listeners? looking at a shaggy dog story uh, in four by three, which tells me that it's from the uh, around, I don't know, the around 2000 or so. Okay, but if you were to just describe what, what the actual visual is. Uh, a, a dog. Just a dog. Okay, just go. A, a shaggy yeah. dog. All right. I thought I did pretty good describing it as a shaggy dog. Well, you said a shaggy dog story would imply, yeah. Also, pause. Uh, th uh, this is one of those things that I can't unsee now, is every dog in every movie or television show ever, I see their eyes clearly looking off camera at the trainer who's holding up, like, <laughs> a, a, a hank of, of meat or whatever. You want to know one? Keep that in mind as you watch the rest of this. Okay. All right. Please give us a pound. The dog looks very upset. Uh, as, Go as, back to that image of the dog looking uh, over. The oh. dog literally has this look that, like, it is a, it is an amazing ad. It's like the dog understands what 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 a a, a thirty eight special is, and knows that one has pointed at its head. Wait, play it again. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Just just the moment, just so people can hear clean what he says. Please give us a pound. Or we'll have to pull the trigger. <laughs> Why is this an EA Sports? That is an actual animal rescue uh, in England that apparently got such negative reaction that they had to pull it and retool it. But that was a real ad from England. So I'm assuming yeah. that when you saw this, you were very upset. Uh, yes, I was so upset that I had a segment on Night Attack. <laughs> I was like, boo, boo. So upset that you donated to the people who made the ad, who, of course, are the RSPCA. Okay, all right. Will you pass that test? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're already ahead. Of, you know what? You won. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to donate one half of a Dogecoin to one Dogecoin yeah. to make sure that the dog doesn't get <laughs> shot. That's an intense dad. Uh, yeah, dude. It's super great. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did somebody say night attack? <laughs> oh! 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 It's over wait, there, isn't wait, it? Wait, which one of us said it? I don't know. I know somebody oh! did. <laughs> I don't know where you end and he begins. Uh, apparently Justin did. Apparently Justin. Uh, become a patron or we'll pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that with Bryce? Has anybody ever gone? 
<laughs> I'd, be, I'd be down for that. That would be okay. Yeah. Please give us a pound or we'll pull the trigger. As long as we use a fake, a, a realistic looking, but a really fake, a very real fake gun. Uh, what if it's a real gun, but it's so small? But, <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a, it's a small, real gun, small. but it's a fake dog? Yeah. As if, well, what if it's I a think fake that, I think I would be a real gun? Yeah, I think I would be in the dog position. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's a fake me I don't know about. The, well... <laughs> oh. I, 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 is this Great Night Inception? What's happening? I get like I feel like we're four levels down now. Rex, what's the next topic? All right, our last topic is kayaking. You know, I was going to talk about kayaking, but I'm going to take uh, this in another direction because I forgot about something until somebody mentioned it in the chat room. Do I need to get the gun? This was a <laughs> this was a conversation <laughs> that we had while kayaking. Yes. My wife was horrified by the gun. She yes. believes yes. Yeah. that nobody who goes into a pool ever pees in it. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and was horrified to learn that no, not, not only am I an unrepentant and habitual pool peer... <laughs> But that I would say the vast majority of people are. Now, when we talk about pools, yeah, there's a difference between hot tubs, yeah, Olympic-sized swimming pools, yeah. sure, Barton Springs, <laughs> sure, the ocean, yep, Neptune, <laughs> like the man, <laughs> nope, the planet, the God, oh, <laughs> yep, the planet, gotcha. <laughs> like at some point, it becomes okay to pee in one of those. Yes, okay. What level are we talking about? Uh, Kitty. <laughs> you've, you've, you've described a lot of places. I mean, her, her hypothesis sounds like it is irres irregardless of how big the, the, the device is, how big the pool is. Wait, all right. Oh, oh, oh the thank goodness. When you said how big the device is, I went in a totally <laughs> different direction. <laughs> All right, so look at this. Well, if you got a hog. The way you broke it down. The way you broke it down. <laughs> yeah. Hot tub, I get it. Yeah. All don't, right. Don't, everyone's don't, everyone's don't next in the to hot each tub. other in a hot tub. We can literally see the, the yellow cloud a pool, around. A pool that you can swim laps in. Where, where, where are you at on that? Uh, I mean, are you asking whether or not I have ever peed in said yeah. pool? Yeah. I have peed. There's no shame here. I'm telling I peed in that pool. I pee in a pool smaller. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm not getting out of this goddamn pool. Hold on. I'm going to track water oh. all the way in. I'm going to dry off. I'm going to go pee. And meanwhile, I'm tracking water everywhere. Someone might slip, crack their head. Now that's on me. They're in a wheelchair. That's on me. I put a puddle on the, on the floor. They slipped. And now they're in a wheelchair. Meanwhile, I could have saved somebody's life by peeing in that pool. How small a pool? You know how many lives I've, <laughs> I've saved by peeing in pools? I shudder to think. Uh, but, 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 but how small a pool does it become like, well, maybe not in this one. Look, I'm willing to say I should feel shame <laughs> if it's at a certain size. <laughs> okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm honest enough to okay, say that I've but, done it. But the part that intrigues me is that you said that, that she refuses to accept that anybody has no, ever... Her world, her world was rocked when I was as confident as I was about how many people pee in pools and how I, I believe that I was in the tremendous majority of yeah. humanity. I, right? I, 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 especially, uh, 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 number one, yes. And, 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 and so this is, we're already taking out the ocean. Like, she's already accepted people pee in oceans, right? I don't know if she's done that. <sighs> okay, uh, lakes, uh, I assume, are off the menu. I. Look, Rivers. she was, she was, uh, 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 she was like, oh, I don't Springs. know. Look, I'm, I'm peeing in all that shit. Yeah. I'm peeing in all of it. Showers? Showers, I actually, I, I, I don't know. I don't what? Know. That's the one where it's okay to do it. Okay. Really? Weird what? Absolutely. Yeah, way. Well, I, I mean, to I, be fair, I, I, I peed I, in I the shower, to, I, but I, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to the idea <laughs> that, that some people find that gross. Uh, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, so here, oh especially no, so, in an age where I found out like there was some study that said 38% of millennials admit to waffle stomping, which blew my mind. Shitting in the shower. Shitting and, you know. And stomping it down. Yeah. What? That's fucking yeah. disgusting. Yeah. That's admit to. Admit to. Now, I think, 
I would want to know how they conducted their poll. All I'll they say is They said, that, please check one of the following. Yeah. Have or have not you shat in a shower <laughs> and then stomped it down, a.k.a. waffle stomping, self-selection, yeah. go. And I would say yes, because that's very fucking funny to ruin that poll. Yes. <laughs> all right, here's here's my last oh, thing on this. So you think they're all in on it? Yes, oh, it's totally, yes. No, of course. You see something of that ridiculous, not you're not, of course you're going to go, oh, yeah. This. Oh, no, I do think that there are more waffle stompers among us than we give it credit for. But I don't think it's 80 plus percent. I said 38. Oh, okay. That is... <laughs> still reasonable. Than, that's still probably higher than I think. Yeah, it's higher than number two. Can I can I make <laughs> one one final <laughs> comment on pool peeing? <laughs> yeah. Because Ashley put up on her Instagram a poll where and it came oh, back no, with a no. bunch of people that were like, no, ew, gross. Ew. You want to know what I think that was? What? A bunch of motherfuckers who don't live in the sun belt. Yep. Who have never been around pools their entire life. Yep. I've never been in and out of pools. When they go in the pool, oh my God, so exciting. It's the Queen of England's pool. As far as they're concerned, they're getting in. They're curtsying on the way in. They're they're bowing on the way out. They're not going to pee in that pool because they find it to be a special occasion. The only people I ever want to hear about a pool peeing conversation is motherfuckers that have been in pools their entire goddamn life. That's what I'm talking about. We. Yeah, oh. Who are these delicate uh, flowers that have never encountered being in a pool no, before? No, no, I know. I'm saying that there's a, you have a different relationship with with bodies of water if you have not grown up around them constantly. Yes, that's all I'm saying. And so, if you're in Texas, California, Florida, Arizona, uh, uh, there are a lot of pools around. A lot of people, friends have pools. There are community pools. There are springs, stuff like that. You are just in a situation where. You don't want to get out of the water, and you'd rather just piss in here, and it's it's a, it's a, it's the perfect crime. But 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 uh, 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 how far north do you get when you enter this? Oh my God, what is this uh, a pool? You say I would presume places where winter is more of a thing, and therefore like people don't are, 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 are less incentivized to build them because they're not going to get as much use out of it. Oh no no no! I mean, as as far as I could tell, like like the farther north you go, you don't get fewer pools; you just get more above ground pools. Oh, those are filthy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go. Uh, again, a very special episode available this Thursday. You will hear, and I think this is the first time ever that the All Setup Magician has been recorded and published in on its, in its entirety. In its entirety. Yep. And it was a great set if, yes. if, 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 and, if i do say for so. for the target audience none, uh, nonetheless before that uh, i think two weeks ago we had a, a, a long form interview with my dad uh, good stuff lots on of really the, good on, stuff on the there. patreon stuff lately so uh, go ahead and check that out patreon patreon.com slash great we got a game bryce yes we do it's one of our old favorites say it with me up apologize <laughs> I'm going to guess that none of the answers are peeing in a pool. Well, don't get ahead of me. Hey, oh, okay. The night is young. <laughs> Why? Because you have to go. I, yeah, that's because I have to go number Cause one. Because we're in a pool right now and yeah. I'm peeing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, hello everybody. It's Apologize Sports, everybody's favorite. I would pee in a pool live on the show. Oh, If we God. did a show in a pool. So brave. I would pee in the pool. Would you announce it? So brave. No. I'm a professional. Okay. Good In fact, man. We, so we went out kayaking the entire day, mm -hmm. and we were hanging out, and we were drinking, and, and having a good time. I came back, and it was like, it, right in, like as we were getting back in the car, I just looked my wife dead in the eyes and said, twice. Twice. <laughs> right next to you. So I did the same thing. Uh, uh, my daughter and I had the same argument, and I just leaned forward, and I whispered, hail Hydro. <laughs> right, that's the first question. So this is the game where uh, uh, we are going to give you a headline, and we've replaced some of the words that somebody is apologizing for. Before we get into that, Brett, yes, what is our punishment for the game tonight? So I tried something a little different this time. Yep. And uh, Corey has gone out to Walgreens. Oh no! And he, I like I don't like when you involve is, Corey. Is there, is there, Corey, Corey is Corey is a sick and twisted individual. And we're, we're gonna have to take like a uh, hydro hydrochloroquine or whatever. Yes. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but when, he is giggling in a way that I've <laughs> never heard him before. There's nothing that makes this man happier more than human pain. 
We're, there will be human pain this time. Uh, uh, we were going to use the shock device, the handheld oh, no, shock you, device. This is a plucking device, isn't it? But instead, we're going to use the uh, we, we will the loser will have to get three shocks of five seconds each with this uh, this uh, what what is it called, Corey? A, a Thames pad. A TENS unit. TENS unit. Oh, and, uh, yeah. We yeah. will be setting those up, and you will maybe drink a beer or something, and we'll shock the shit out I mean, of you. Should, should we maybe go ahead and both get geared up right now, just so that we're ready? Uh, we only money. have one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dodged okay. the bullet on that one. <laughs> Dude, did, didn't we? <laughs> All right, what's the first question? All right, your first headline, and uh, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Your first headline. UK Health Minister Hancock apologizes. Hancock <laughs> 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 apologizes for his dumb name. Yeah. In a recorded statement, we go to Hancock. <laughs> derpa, derpa, yeah. I have a dumb name. Yeah. Oi. It was it, it was followed by jizz. <laughs> jizz, mate. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, this apologies from though. the great this night This is staff. bullying. This is not even funny. UK Health Minister Hancock apologizes for breaking... S <laughs> really? I'm the sorry. second time? I'm the second sorry. time? No, that, no, was, no. that was, that was good. Pavlovian. It's, it's, that was it's, Pavlovian. It's, I'm sorry. I swear to God, we, you can say We swear we won't laugh again. Go ahead. I got, from from look, the top. From the top. I got a degree in journalism. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Newhouse, <laughs> SI Newhouse School of Public Communication, the proud U alumni. UK Health Minister Hancock... He's still Caitlin. <laughs> I'm not. I, I just smiled. I was cheesing. UK Did Health Minister Hancock apologizes for breaking social distancing rules by blank, blank. <laughs> and on <cock>. straight. <laughs> <laughs> straight. <laughs> so uh, the the headline has been replaced. <laughs> The, re the headline has had two words replaced with blanks. I, 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 I'm terribly sorry. I just found myself here on the lift, the tube, and there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it's a subway that goes to the sky. Up. Yes, uh -huh. anyway, it was like how suddenly it's a, I'm pulling a bit of a Mick Jagger situation. <laughs> Putting my lips out and plucking like a chicken. And before mm -hmm. you know it, I've oh. got the COVID. So wait, what's the two words? Wait, are we doing this together, or is he guessing and then I'm guessing? I, I'm giving you the proper context for this what terrible. What is that? Who's answer? You will both answer. You on will both, both answer. You will both answer. See, we need to, we need to let me do the game first before we do the bit. All right, UK Health Minister Hancock apologizes for breaking social distancing rules by blank blank. Uh, Justin, you were going to go first here. What did you say one more time? Uh, well, I, I, <laughs> I my my actual answer is hmm. uh, visiting parents. Ah, visiting parents. I think that's a good answer. Brian, what do you think? Hugging constituent. Ooh. Uh, hugging a constituent. Around the dick with his hand. Yes. <laughs> a the, reach around. The old hand hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In that, the morning. Hand hug in the morning. <laughs> hand hug in the morning. Doodle doo. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, whoever. By the way, whoever is closest to the correct answer is gonna get the point here. You both answered. Uh, Brian said hugging a constituent. Justin said visiting parents. UK Health Minister Hancock apologized for breaking social distancing rules by kissing aid. Oh. Kissing aid. That's a oh. Brian point. Yeah. Oh, would, shit. would you like to see the photo of him kissing? Yeah, Hank? let's see this. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's see how yeah. Hancock Whoa! kisses. Yeah. Here it is from the sun. Oh, holy oh, shit, no. dude. Actually, like a whole Get scandal. There. Homie is checking for ham. Yeah. He's got he's got a handful so, uh, price uh, check uh, on uh, fucking uh, ham hocks. So so he's, he's apologizing for the kissing and not the 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 uh, the, the, the the ass grabbing. I don't you Correct. can't get you can't get COVID from an ass grab. I don't know. Let's find You're out. You're doing it right. <laughs> God damn it. I wanted to be the one. That go <laughs> How? Okay. So that's a Brian point. Congratulations, yeah. Brian. Yeah. Is that a silent acknowledgement that one of us has COVID? <laughs> or is it just like you can't grab enough asses? I mean, all I'm going to say is COVID. that if both of us grab each other's ass and then both of us have COVID, then it's neither of our faults. Except for our patrons. Exactly. And Professor Hancock. All right, round two of 
It is <laughs> elevating tube. <laughs> That's too of a pause. It's lip tube. Lip tube. Lip tube? Lip tube. Lip tube. Lip tube. Oh, yeah, lip tube. come on. I'm sorry, ugly American. It's a British <laughs> thing. It's, it's a lift. lift the lorry. <sighs> the boot. All right. Yeah. Boot. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready, ready. Sergio Romo. You're going to laugh at that name. Sergio Romo apologizes for blank blank during umpire check. Sergio Romo apologizes for blank blank during umpire check. Rude gesture, a.k.a. middle finger. Or, or mm. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. All right. He's going to say rude gesture. Uh, Justin. How many uh, words? Two words. Sergio Romo apologizes for blank blank during umpire check. Ass gray. Hand cock. Ass for real. Gray. For real. Hand cock. Hand cock. Are, are, you, are you describing? Grabbing, grabbing a dick. A crotch touch grab? The dick. Yeah. Crotch grab? Is, <laughs> yeah. Wait, sorry. Touch. Well, no, 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 no. So touch umpire you. checks, this is like a, a thing. In, in baseball, yeah. they're cracking down on substances that people use to throw. Right. And so the pitchers have been very upset about it. Right. And, like, have, like, like taken off their shirts in, like, protest because they're, like, they Those don't like called, being checked. Uh, 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 umpire spicy checks as opposed to jalapeno wow. checks or <laughs> spicy checks. I'm just doing all the checks mixes I could think of. Oh, checks mix. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. It's I thought you were spicy. talking about the people from Czechoslovakia. Yeah. <laughs> Jalapeno the cheddar Czech all the way. What am I? Really fucking spicy 82? Czechs. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> From the Soviet Union. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we've got actually a clip here of the moment in question. Sergio Romo apologized Say yes. <laughs> for this blank blank during umpire check. Let's take a look. From our friends at NLB. Here, what Sergio Romo was dealing with. And he was a, a little bit heated there after the performance. Shit, yes. He's I told you. There we go. The and he apologized for dropping pants Drop during an trowel. umpire check. Well, that doesn't have him touching anyone else's dick. He touched his own dick a little bit right there. Well, Freeze does, frame. Back, I'm, I'm and back to the left. Back <laughs> to the left. <laughs> Hancock. All I said was Hancock. That was my official answer. Yeah, but my that official science, my, my, my official answer was rude gesture. Well, and I've got him on the card here, so I am gonna have to put in the science. Put machine. it in. Yeah. Put it in. Zzzz. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stealing his bit? No, no, I'm singing along. Wait, what? What am I stealing the bit when the Rolling Stones are all started up or whatever? Like I'm singing in the audience. If they haven't started singing, they haven't yet. started yeah. singing, and you have a mic and yeah. they don't. I'm only happy when it rains. <laughs> I'm, I'm not taking anything away from garbage. Beep, beep. Am I the if garbage? You have a bit, <laughs> I mean, if you have a microphone, then yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> now, I would be taking something away if I started going like because Shock G, we lost He's last dead. year. Yeah, R. I. P. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Shark G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> Where's my thing? <laughs> All right, there we go. All righty here. Oh, Justin got the point on that one. Hey! Justin, hey! Oh, 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 oh! Somebody needs to learn to fucking shut up when science is going. <laughs> when Sorry, science. science. I don't think I've been called garbage before. No, wow. that's, oh, that's really oh bad. <laughs> that's That's really bad. Fuck, man. I wow, can't you called Brian. science no. garbage. How I was calling you? Shirley Manson garbage. Mm, is that your nickname for no, Brian? No, that's Shirley Manson. Finger off garbage. Shirley Manson? Oh, God, Shirley God, Manson really over here. Manson? As long as he doesn't call me Shirley. Ah, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Brett, what's our score? Our score is Brian lost that point and is at one, and Justin has won. There we go. They tied. They tied. They tied. Bzz, bzz. All right, round three. We're going to start with Justin on this one. I'm pretty yeah. sure I could call for the umpire to review the footage, and the umpire would agree it was a rude gesture. Bzz, That's all bzz, I'm saying. Bzz, bzz. Uh, I don't know what science said. No. When you were it trying to do science's job. All right. Who's cheering for science? We've got a headline here. Funny way to show it. Justin, we're starting with you. Dad, upset about masks, apologizes for blank blank at Sarasota School. Dad upset about masks apologizes for blank blank at Sarasota school. What what state is that in? Florida. Sarasota? Yeah. Florida? Oh. Uh, so he is a Florida man. I know. I can channel. 
Justin, we're starting with you for this one. Dad, upset mm -hmm. about masks, apologizes for blank blank at Sarasota School. I need, I need to channel in to the Florida man. All right, yeah. here, we go. here we go. All right, here we go. Um, cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> Heaven on earth with an onion slice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the whole that's ritual. That's the whole Now yeah. you're fully Florida, now man. Full, uh, no, okay. All right. I've now, tapped into the high while, mind. While you're at, all right, close your eyes. Close your eyes. The harder you try not to be Florida, man, the more you'll be full Florida, man. Florida, man. Florida, man. Answer to me. Yes. You're going to a restaurant. What restaurant are you going to? I'm going to a Flanagan. <laughs> a Flanagan. The Flanagan's. You walk into the Flanagan's. You walk yes. into the Flanagan's. Do you pay your tab? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Uh, yeah, no, I think he's in the zone. <laughs> All right, to the Florida man. Dad upset about masks. I've definitely walked a tab at Flanagan's. <laughs> Dad upset about masks. Apologizes for blank blank at Sarasota School. Rude talk. Rude talk, he says. Rude talk. All right, Brian. Uh, his hand on his cock. <laughs> hand <laughs> cock. Hand on his cock. Okay. <laughs> Is this going sideways? Is this game going sideways? <laughs> no, no. Apparently, we're playing by totally sensible, normal rules. You are tied. <laughs> so I'm just trying to find we're my going equilibrium. Sideways. Everybody, watch this. Watch the rest of this episode on the like with your head on the pillow because this shit just went sideways. Brian's upset about science. <laughs> All right, so Justin has said rude. So, so by the way, for the record, for the exactly record, the right. two answers are rude talk and <laughs> I don't know, fucking hand dick, dick hands. <laughs> I guess we're not even doing rules anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. Those are the two answers. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. All right, those are the two. I answers. love you, science. <laughs> <laughs> you should get the Nobel Award for science. For science. For, for you. For you. For you. Uh, uh, all right, your answers included Justin said rude talk, Brian said hand on his cock. Uh, I said a cock, but that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I can... but you know what? I'll take, I'll take whatever. Someone else's. Wow. <laughs> really arguing balls and strikes still, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. This is from our friends at uh, NBC8. Dad upset about mask apologizes for. Causing lockdown at Sarasota School. Justin, that's a point. Hey! hey! Rude talk. Is that rude was in fact rude talk. talk? Rude talk. Rude. And how did he There's cause the little lockdown? man called rude talk. He put his hand And his he's mouth. going to a school in Sarasota saying, fuck you people, I don't wear masks. You better not ban everybody from class. <laughs> but they did anyway. And they said nobody's allowed to come and hey, learn. it's me, the superintendent. <laughs> what are you up to? I don't intend to let this school get shut on down. Stop that talk. It's rude all around. I got my hand on my cock. <laughs> my hand on my cock. Shut my hand down. on my cock. I got my hand on my cock. I got a big fat <laughs> cock and a real little, really little hand. So it looks even bigger <laughs> when I put it on my gland. Oh my <laughs> God. I can't believe you said that. It seems to me if I participate now, we'll have the most unlikely Broadway hit in history. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. All right, here's what I need. I need someone to just cut out that and edit it in with one of those like '90s Broadway commercials where they just yeah. have like randos, like now Bridget Dunnell randos, like I like went from T neck. It was the best daddy daughter day ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shout out. All right, go. What's the next question? All right, I believe we gave the point to Justin on that one. Yes. Oh. All right, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready, ready. Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank brand name. Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank <laughs> brand name. Tread carefully on this one. Mm, I mean, should I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're still sideways, huh? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank brand name. Oh, it's a brand name. Brand name, yeah, man. You know branding? Yeah. No, no, no. He had that line of shoes. 
Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> said they were the most Hasidic shoes <laughs> in Brooklyn. The Illinois. most Hasidic in <laughs> Brooklyn. Wow. Illinois. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Or the in most, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, No, no, in Brooklyn, Illinois. Brooklyn, Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the I most remember that. Hasidic shoes yeah. in Brooklyn, Illinois. And he gave that interview where he was like, like, that's what I was thinking about during my entire time on screen, during Black Panther. Yep. And the name of the shoes were... Hasidic. <laughs> Hasidic. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Yes. <laughs> Out of Brooklyn, Illinois. Never say we're not fucking fire. <laughs> Never say we're not fucking on point with this shit. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation. Fuck off, Del Close. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? He was right to apologize because now that I think about it, uh, that was probably pretty rude of him to do. Because he's not from Illinois. Because he's not even a Hoosier at all, even. Yeah. Uh, so your your answer I bet is he ever seen question. Do you think Michael B. Jordan has ever seen the Blues Brothers? No. Yeah. Probably once he saw the Blues Brothers two thousand oh. when he was a kid. Oh. <laughs> so fuck Michael B. Jordan. Fuck oh. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, so uh, Brian, is your answer Hasidic? Yes. Okay. Uh, Justin, Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank <laughs> brand name. Who's <laughs> from Indiana? Uh, that's Not why he's the, that's the weird I, part. Uh, you know that's what? the part he apologized for. That's what he that's apologized right. for. I meant to appropriate from, from this other from state. From Indiana, yeah. yeah. If, you mu if you must appropriate, make sure it's the right state, is what he said. <laughs> as, he said it. As he was at a seance for Johnny, Car or Johnny Cochran. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say Johnny Carson! Carson. Oh, the I whole bit. Just he's dump that whole bit. Don't dump miss. It. Dump it. The dump episode, it. this is called the episode they never miss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Justin Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank well, brand name. Well, now. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> well, well, no, you know, uh, if the, yes. uh, if the uh, uh, glove doesn't fit, oh. well, you uh, must have quit. <laughs> yes. These are rejected jokes from Mad TV. Like, this is, like, so shitty. <laughs> I don't know what Mad TV is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in blank yeah, do, uh, brand please name. Please give this gravity it deserves. In, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're you're competing it's all the, on it, you. Yeah. It's, it's really yours to lose at this point. Yeah. All right. In in a uh, 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 CBD oil brand name. Sorry. Uh, who who uh, uh, do you know the the brand name? Uh no. Okay, but but uh, was it was it was it the CBD part that was appropriating? Oh no, I'm sure they gave it a, an offensive name. I see. Yeah. For example, <laughs> what you really no, want? No, no. <laughs> what you really want? G F X. All right, you guys have <laughs> finally answered. You said listen to the preach. If you don't listen to the preach, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Our answers include Hasidic and CBD oil. Hey, dear, an unnamed brand name for CBD oil. At least I said shoes. You said Hasidic. Hasidic, <laughs> Hasidic shoes. shoes. Oh, we do like sh shoes in there? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, Hasidic shoes. I was very specific. Dude, what if shoes fucks you on this, on this science, really? Yeah, I mean, it well, might fuck you. You might get fucked by shoe. I mean, wow. To lose a game on Great Night. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh oh, we're sideways. We're still sideways. Okay, we're, 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 sideways. Sideways. we're still sideways. We're still sideways. All right, we're still sideways. All right. Uh, the answer we were looking for was Michael B. Jordan apologizes for cultural appropriation in rum brand name. We were what looking is, for rum. What is, what is the rum brand name? Uh, Jouvert, which uh, apparently is a regional. A celebratory term for the emancipation from slavery. Um, in, wow! In, uh, tr 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 in Trinidad and Tobago. Man. So, but he's he's uh, appropriating Trinidad and Tobagan culture. Uh, that is that was the concern. I believe yeah. they are looking to so, so uh, now it's science's job yeah. to decide. 
who, which, whether that's closer to to rum, whether or not rum is rum, closer rum, to just uh, well, sh- rum and a, a, a exclamation of hooray, we are now freed is closer to appropriating uh, Hasidic culture uh, or with CBD shoe, oil or just CBD oil yeah. of a non-specific uh, yeah. ethnicity. So like a vice. Don't, don't you top spin this? <laughs> <laughs> you were top. I mean, just two, it. yeah. <laughs> just two things. Yeah. Mike is like, like me like, top spin. Like, yeah. top spin. Like, like like rum and CB Doyle, like kind of the same thing. Uh, <laughs> CB Doyle, this is the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> C- CB Doyle rules. <laughs> CB Doyle. <laughs> that's funny. Now that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. Uh, <laughs> Justin, your answer is oh! the point. Congratulations, Yo! Yo! Whoa! I'm good at this <laughs> game. Look at me! Oh my God, you look like Being you're in an Olympic-sized so swimming at this pool. Game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've never seen a bit. If you're not listening, if you're not watching this. Ah. I will, I, we need to figure out what the name of that move Justin just did is, which is just leaning the, the dick way forward and everything else back. And then oh, wagging yeah. it. Getting a big the hip flippity wag. flap. A big <laughs> hip wag. All right. After four, I call this one the radar. Sounds like the science machine. All right. After four questions, Brett, what's yeah. the score? Careful. Well, tread lightly. Who you tread on is science. <laughs> as, as Yeats wrote. Ye- Yeats? Yeats? Yeats. Yeats. As yeats. Yeats wrote, yeats. Wrote, they don't don't yeats. Yeats. I have miles Nothing to go before I eat. It emits. I guess I never miss, huh? <laughs> Miles to go before I eat. (laughs) The poet poet Yeats. Who wrote his own poems and was just like, fuck this shit. Fuck (laughs) Yeats. This poem empty (laughs) Yeats. So, guys. I had to find all of his poems because he fucking yeeted them so far. They were so (laughs) rare that they published it as Leet Yeats. Leet Yeats. Leet Yeats. Just going to throw this out there. So we have, just gonna throw we, have, we have the <laughs> Illinois Hoosiers. <laughs> C.B. Doyle. <laughs> Sick. The poet <laughs> Hoosiers. All right. All right. Uh, What's Brian? our score, Brett? Brian, you don't have three points. That would be Justin. Brian, mm-hmm. you have a one point. Yeah, you know why? Because uh, I'm only in a hot tub. I'll eventually go. Getting to ready three. for you. I'm oh, right. ready for All you, right. buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, this is our final round. Bum, bum, bum. And this is going to be four. Four points. So it's still anybody's game. Four points. All right. Uh, uh, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. Let's go. Russian sushi chain apologizes for ad featuring blank. Oh, my blank. God. This could be anything. Russian <laughs> they sushi don't chain. Fuck out there. Apologizes for ad featuring blank, blank. Uh, I guess just racial stereotype. Sorry, what I'm. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to racial stereotype. He's gonna say racial stereotype. All right, Justin. Well, Russian. Reason I'm sticking with this answer is because you can't say CBD again. <laughs> <laughs> Russian sushi Oh, you're chain. playing prison rules, huh? <laughs> no more jokes. No more funny jokes. No more good times. No more uh, rolling up the barrel. No more tickling the waitress. No more poking the, tickling the ribs. Nothing? Nothing? Maybe the tip of the ribs. Tip of the ribs? I said tip of the ribs. A tip of the ribs to you, too, sir. A rib tip tip. Russian sushi chain. I think, number one, I think you got it right. So I need to go more specific. I need to get it nearly exactly. Just say handcuff. Russian sushi chain apologizes for ad featuring blank blank. Black face. Oh. Here we go. All right. Our answers are in. 
I need to I need to consult the science machine, but in a new way. We have a new feature. We have a new. It, it got upgraded. It like, got, like 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 like, like my Mac now? in the middle of the night. It just says, "Would you like to install these upgrades?" That's right. And I have it. I have a little bird on my desk that hits yes every twenty seconds. So, uh, it I made that update. Uh, so. Brian, I'm going to take your answer, the racial stereotype, and I'm going to drop it into the science machine. And we will hear the result of your answer. Are you ready for this? Ready. All right, Brian, your answer is... Uh-oh. It does very incorrect. Very incorrect. Oh no! Incorrect. That means Justin's answer wins. Do, do we get to find out what the answer was? <laughs> we will, in fact, get to find out. Russian sushi chain apologizes for ad featuring black man. <laughs> um. Now, you might look at that headline and go, there's got to be more to the story. And, the, uh, dear listener, there is not. Uh, there was just a black yes. dude in a, in For a sushi. For anybody ad. just joining us right now, science has determined uh -huh. that a company apologizing for having a black man in an ad is closer, is not close to a racial stereotype, uh -huh. but instead is very close to, what, what was your answer again? Black face. Black face. Right. Is the man black? Does he have a face? I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Cochran. <laughs> and drop and the base. Now, now, <laughs> can I ask the ladies and gentlemen of the jury to say that I have an envelope <laughs> <laughs> and I'm holding it to my head right now. <laughs> now, <laughs> I really wish I knew a Karnak joke. I wish I knew it a was Karnak the, joke. It was in the jar on the porch. Yeah. Of, uh, in a glass a mason jar on the porch. Uh, the Challenger disaster, 9-11, <laughs> <Yeah. 9 -11, laughs> and the latest episode of Great Night. Oh, no. <laughs> what are three examples of American exceptionalism? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, dear listener, uh, there are national. It turns out there are ultra nationalists in Russia, and they don't like that. So, uh, yeah. congratulations! But apparently, to, they love sushi. They uh, they love it. They're and cuckoo yet. for it. Uh, congratulations to, to Justin. Like Our winner of the game today. Uh, while they get set up with uh, the punishments, I believe I do want to give a few shouts outs here. I want to thank out Annalisa who set this up. This actually was from uh, when we did Apologize for a few months ago. I'd also like to thank Dark Redeemer, BioCow, Cheeto, and uh, Ala Ham, 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 Hamade. Ham, Ham, it looks like Handmade, but it's not, uh, for submitting some of these uh, articles. If you've got something that we should play here on the show, greatnightpod at gmail.com is the email address. If you've got a game that you think we can play, greatnightpod at gmail.com is where uh, you can send it in. Hold on one second. Oh, I see. All right, Brian is now going off. We're, we're trying to figure out exactly how this works so we've got a a thames device these are the things you put on your on your muscles and they give you a little zip a little zip, zip, zip and uh that zip uh, gets you gets you where you're going all right so uh brian has brian put something is, under his putting putting i just don't want to get us in some trouble oh, okay so he is yeah he is covering the nip <laughs> covering the nip so we don't violate yep. pos yes where am i uh I was gonna put it on your wrist. <laughs> you didn't need to put it on. Where, where, where are we putting this? Uh, you're, you're the winner, so you tell me. No, 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 no. Brian, Brian can choose where it goes. Should decide. I, I think, I think maybe, maybe what the, 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 the beller. You think you do the beller? Yeah. All right. So wait, hold on. Is it gonna go immediately as soon I as have it hits? No idea do we know? Happen. It takes a second. So all right. So, so Brian, what, I, what, 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 what I need you to do is. I would, uh, I would turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Okay, so apply it, yeah. and then Brian, I need you to sing a royalty-free song. Okay. <clears throat> Give me some slack. okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? All right, sing a royalty-free song. Let, uh, 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 let me let let, uh, let me get, begin. <clears throat> you say, count me in. Three, two, one. 
three, two, one. Sugar glider, sugar glider, glide across the tree. I'll never say goodbye to you, so glide along with me, sugar glider. The one where they showed me. Sugar don't glider, yeah. hand on a rock. You are <laughs> super great. It's Playing baseball all of the time. Your sushi order's late. I wouldn't blame the mascot oh, oh. of this particular chain. Sugar glider, sugar glider. I think Justin's to blame. <laughs> Sugar glider, sugar glider. Oh, there we go. He's going now. You're only making me more powerful. <laughs> oh, sugar glider, sugar glider. Summon the tie fighters. Sugar glider. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Brown. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Justin, yeah, we did a, uh, oh, God. You, you just want to do the first act again? If, 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 Same things you talked about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, when did you first go to the TAOM? <laughs> How old were you? Hold on. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we're doing we're doing a, we're doing a segment. Some of us are. Uh, oh, it's doing it's do, it's doing this wave thing. Feel it. You should feel no, this. I don't. Yeah, feel feel my body. You don't feel that? I don't know. Oh my god, it's so messed up. Um. Yeah. So was it that was <laughs> all right? All right, there we I go. Don't I, I, it's, 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 I don't know. It's 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 I'm being <laughs> electrocuted live on stage. All right. Uh, oh goodness. I I want I, I oh, can are, are you telling me I could have two whole abs? No. Then well, let's keep it. <laughs> you just keep on running. Uh, but what we would love to share. <laughs> Now it's going? Uh, oh, no, it's been going. It's just, it Has does, it does this sine wave thing wave. where it's like, uh, it takes easy. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, so. Uh, kind of lo- digging the sound. Oh, God. Sorry, gotcha. Again, Somebody I cover for me. I can't all. Oh, God. Hey, uh, 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 Brian, what have we learned tonight? We've got a whole, like, yeah, 10 we minutes. We've got a whole third back. segment. Yes. <laughs> a whole third. God, they're yeah. so really fucking. Maybe we should do the punishment later. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> so when we were doing the TAOM performance, yes, uh, uh, we actually had a little bit of time uh, to get up on stage and warm up and just do some tech check and stuff like that. Uh, while that was happening, and I'll tell you what, it was actually kind of special because it's the first time that we've been on stage with microphones at all in, in like two in years, a couple years, yeah, right. And and so we uh, uh, they did a, a, the tech crew man major shouts out to them uh, because they were they were putting together a, a, a virtual performance the live performance they were making sure everything was all teched out so uh, uh, we get up there to do our mic checks now in theory all we need to do is verify that you can hear the laptop and hear us talking into a microphone for yeah. some reason we start our mic check and 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 it never occurs to either of us to stop and nobody decides to tell us stop I, I was just thinking that we were getting into the into the vibe yeah uh, I, I just felt like we were getting into the zone yeah but, uh, well i mean I, we'll let the audience decide uh uh uh, 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 uh bryce do you have the <laughs> video the thing's still going for the record <laughs> yeah 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 that's right yeah that's right what up yeah. t-a-o-m hey everybody are you ready to for, to be magic oh yeah oh. Ah! predict the future we're predicting the future who wants to penetrate an impenetrable bah, object bah, 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 bah. i don't know why this sealed envelope is even here neither do i oh. that's not foreshadowing Ooh. unless it is all right i have five keys in my pocket justin how many keys do i have 
four. <laughs> so close, man. That's how good. We got to get in the zone. We got to okay. get in the zone. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Come Brian. On. Yo, I've got. By the way, just very, uh, if people are having like, if they feel like they're listening to this and having a stroke, that's the Neil Cicieriga Mouth Sounds album, I believe, yeah, right? That is that is uh, uh, playing because we are trying to get all of the, the audio to be playing. Brian, how's that Thames feeling? Are you still? I think he's actually into it. Like, like we, 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 we passed the are point. Oh, no, he's ready. He's, he's peeling. Are you peeling? Are we peeling? I'm peeling. You're peeling. We've got peeling. You're peeling. Five. Four, oh, now it's shot. Three. My fingers. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Take it. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. We got. Uh, we got more of this. Got one bill in my pocket. How many bills do I have? Oh man, I don't know, but you, the other two are swinging a cigarette. Boom, boom, boom. That's what we're doing right now. So, so the in other our mind, one is holding a piece. We're, we're, we're just keeping words afloat so that they could set levels. We're not really thinking about. Oh, I'm not giving a shit about the audio. Neither I'm, of I'm, us I'm, knew I'm, this I'm, was I'm, being recorded no, at all. Of, none of us knew it was being recorded. Yeah. I, I was literally just trying to just like take swings and like just get in the zone because this was like really really fun I, I i forgot how much i missed doing this kind of shit. yes yes we're we're happy to be on stage i think you could tell how are you feeling <laughs> even better the more i listen to this mashup album the happier i get uh audio listeners you are missing a fantastic <laughs> dance by justin robert young <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm really glad that you've joined us here for this presentation on Bitcoin. <laughs> and by the way, and I literally said that because Corey was walking out and checking on the mic. And then there's a good like 400 seats in front of us with nobody in them. Oh, yeah. This is an empty room. Yeah. Subprime mortgages. If you've never heard of a subprime mortgage, then you're a subprime human. <laughs> <laughs> a Sorry, way, I'm the truth teller of <laughs> real estate jargon. They call me the bad boy, the bad boy of subprime mortgage. <laughs> Technically, they call me the bad subprime lender. <laughs> My name is Elliot. It's a swizzled man, and I'm <laughs> the bad boy. Give me all of your money. <laughs> I'm gonna take your money, and then I'm gonna spend it on dumb things like TGI Fridays and a few toys that I buy from Target. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm Elliot Swizzleman, the bad boy of subprime mortgages. <laughs> give me your money, I'm gonna steal it from never. Oops, did I say that? That's what makes me the bad boy. <laughs> I, love, I love how quickly yeah. he turns into Captain Morgan in yeah. that moment. I only really have I only really have a few bad characters and they all they all end up back at Captain Morgan. I was enjoying the idea that the, the magicians were in the audience at the time. And afterwards they're like, hey, I have friends that are <laughs> yeah my yeah my my but <laughs> come on they you know they're just trying to do their life and live their, do a job oh you trying to make fun of Eric Diddleman <laughs> real <laughs> wow why would you throw Eric Eric is... no I know <laughs> okay all right yeah we well, love you Eric I know I know yeah. I think he watches actually yeah so that's what I was saying yeah. no no but then, okay, Elliot Swizzleman Eric Diddleman at least like it was on the same oh, I see I see yeah. okay okay uh but no I was not <laughs> making hey. fun of Eric. Are you sure they call you the bad boy? I'm the bad boy of subprime mortgages. I know that's what you call yourself. That's what they call me. Okay, but uh, do they call you that or do they just call you a bad subprime investor? Uh, they call me <laughs> Elliot Swizzleman yeah. the bad boy <laughs> subprime mortgage lender. Okay, I, I again. Boys they, in parentheses, if that's what you're getting at. Okay, so they don't say boys. They think boys. 
Give me your money. Give me your money. Everybody on the left say, give me. Give me. Everybody on the right say, your money. Your money. Their money. Everybody on the left to go to TG. <laughs> To what? TG. It'll make sense later. Everybody See, on the right say, I Fridays. <laughs> I, I finance? Fridays. Oh, Fridays. That's where I go yeah. and spend your money. TGI we set it Fridays. up earlier. Yeah, no. Now, Everybody now I get it. Now on I get the it. left say, egg rolls. No, it makes sense. It makes sense now. Egg rolls. <laughs> things you get at TGI really Fridays. I'm, to be honest, I'm not really into the egg rolls either. So, like, I understand where that Look, one I lost energy. Okay. For a moment. <laughs> yeah have arguing about whether or not the egg rolls bit was going to be the primary bit. That was the way that it show. went. Yeah, but and it I, was you that pointed out, like, yeah. look, there was a last-minute cancellation, and they needed a comedy <laughs> show mm -hmm. by two people who are familiar with the world yeah. of magic. And I said, yeah. what does egg rolls have to do, do with, with love? <laughs> yeah. And you said? Everything. Or you're okay. racist. <laughs> oh. The first part, I, he almost said something I, sweet there. Call me racist. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Uh, you're. <laughs> <laughs> no, pause it right now. By the pause way, this, it right now. This is me. This pause is me. Right now. This is before he had figured out the DMX trick. No. All right. We're live Number on one. stage. No, 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 no. Here's a very, very real moment that's happening on stage right now. Yes. Because Brian has is the one who brought this clip and was like, oh, I think we should play it. Yes. I know that I watched the first five seconds and was like, oh, that's when we were fucking around on stage. Sure, that should be fine. I don't know if Brian's watched all of it, and I don't remember I, if there's something that I said on that stage is something that would be offensive that is not in a rehearsal setting. Uh, no, I, if anyone, it's me, uh, but luckily it cuts off right around that time. Let's so. go! Hey, Brian. Yeah, you know, up? the thing, we, we, we've been talking a lot about uh, uh, getting this show together yeah. and the history of fire eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what is history? <laughs> it's, it's the correct set of facts to the best ability of those who would be bothered to write it down. It's very small-minded of you. <laughs> 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 Whoever's doing the teching on this has got perfect comedy hey, time. Oh, no, it's uh, Brian. It's me. Brian's uh, doing <laughs> the music. Yeah. Uh, what's, up? what's up, buddy? Hey, dude. You ever walk into an old saloon? Oh, my God. And have just, I ever? And you're just like, you're walking in, yeah. and, you're, and, you're, and, and you see some old cuss that's oh, giving you the eye. Oh, yeah. oh, here, let me give an impression of me walking into a saloon. All right, I'm okay. going to be the old cuss. Okay, here we go. I'm walking into a saloon. I, I don't know. Batwing doors. Okay. Uh, ex excuse me. I, oh, oh dear. Um, I just wanted a Miller Light. Is that all right? Oh, I'm just the old cuss. The bartender's <laughs> over here. You want to talk to the bartender? I'm just the old cuss giving you the evil eye. You know this what, is uh, our version you want of to space to work. Bartender? Yeah. Okay. All bar. right. Hold on. Hold so on. Get, hold on. Let Wait me a take minute. a moment and see if. Uh, 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 not well, out. hello there, sir. I'm the bartender. Okay. Uh, it's very weird. I'm the bartender here at this bar. See? Yes. Well, you know, I've been working at this lighthouse my entire life. <laughs> it's a like, a, like a bowl of clam chowder. Well, you know what's weird is my wife said I only want a Miller Lite for one place, and it yeah. Be both a lighthouse yeah. and a place that <laughs> and has an old clam. saloon. Yeah. Okay, well, three yeah. things apparently. We've been driving a very long time because we're from Texas. Sure. <laughs> well, we're in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we live here. Oh, this is the na the natural Houston accent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go Astros. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Hurricane Harvey? <laughs> <laughs> I do. 
Sounds an awful lot like Otfi, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a tremendous vocal range. Like, like really, like this is this is what we all need to understand. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think that there's significant differences between Otfi and and uh, my shitty New England accent. Okay. Pour in it a I, little bit I more. Think it, all right. Okay, now that now that you, you said it, now I know. <laughs> oh, we don't take kindly to strangers here in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Houston's a tourist town. I uh -huh. would think you guys would be cool. No, well, we we are literally we become on very, the Kima we've, boardwalk. We've That's become why. very provincial. I could just go to Alex Rangel's vape shop right now. <laughs> oh, you know Alex? Yes. Okay. I was cursing at you, but I can't do it during a family show. It's, it's a clean show. It's a clean show. Oh, yeah, wow. Clean. Good, dude, good check swing by me. Holy yeah. shit. Here's the Light. I get from the CBD menu over at Alex <laughs> Rangel's Vape Shop. Available at the Kima Boardwalk. Hi, I'm Justin Robert Young, and this is Brian Brushwood. We've We're here to tell you here. the clean, draw, and smooth flavor of the CBD vapes. <laughs> <laughs> These are our signature characters, Confused Tourist <laughs> and Lighthouse Houstonian. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't want to tell you this. What? I got a call from the president. The president of the United States? No, don't be stupid. President of the TAOM. Oh my God, the president of the TAOM. Yeah. What did he that? say, Brian? He's what the, did he say? He's, he's, First of all, he reminded me that he's the first black president of the TAOM. Well, it's about time, am I right? Well, he's Swedish. He's Swedish or black? His name's Black Bert. Black Bert? Yes. And he's from? I, I, Sweden. Sweden. President of? The TAOM. TAOM. Yeah. Now, Brian, -A -O -M. I've never been to a TAOM before, but the last time that I, I heard... I, I, believe, I believe the clip just cuts off abruptly right there now. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, we later it had does a in fact with, 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 with Bert uh, about, about, like... Uh, so, yeah, uh, Bert, Bert uh, that, is a white man. Yeah. They're, they're, that, that's his, the real his, thing. His name is uh, uh, Bertil. Uh, uh, Bert, Bertil. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, but we were like, you ever worry about that? And he was like, he was like... I, I don't know which, if it's more racist for me to be white or black. But no, his, 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 and he has a great accent. I'm not going to try to do the accent, but he was like, uh, well, when I was first moving to America, because my name was Black Bert, uh, uh, where he came from, and he's like, they were initially like, well, you cannot be Black Bert in America. And then they were like, well, anybody who was black, would probably not call themselves <laughs> Black Bird. <laughs> so you're probably fine. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was amazing. Uh, uh, so uh, at any rate, um, uh, for the full show, the hour-long opening performance, join our patronage at patreon.com slash great night. Great night. Yeah, no, it was, uh, uh, it was awesome. And, and as you guys can tell in that, that was before we did the show. We were feeling good. I think the show went fantastic. And uh, uh, please get on the Patreon for that. You can watch it. Yeah. Uh, hey, what did Brett, we learn? What did we learn? Well, we learned that it's really tricky to make certain kind of jokes. Oh, the T-O-A-M. And also that I don't say town next time. Uh, I've learned that, uh, that you guys are funny on stage when nobody's looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, we're like uh, from Mystery Men, that bit where it's like we're only invisible if nobody's looking. Yes, yeah, we become visible. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and even though we've had a intimate crowd and an intimate show, yeah, it's been a great night. Wait, you're just doing the tag out? I just threw it in there because I learned that tonight. Well, yeah, but you have to wait for us to do the tag out. You know what? Let's add another thing that some of us just learned. Yes. <laughs> is that the hosts get to say, it's been a great night. There you go. Shine on, you crazy diamond. We love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!
you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>